welcome back to my channel for another video. I get a lot of questions about CTC math. This is the math curriculum we've been using for about two years now. And I like to share about this curriculum and other curriculums we use because I know it can help you guys make decisions about what to use in your homeschool and what might work best for your kids. So I wanted to share today about what I think is a common misconception about CTC math why I think it's a misconception and how you can use some of the tools CTC Math has in place to really personalize your child's math curriculum. Let's jump right in. The common misconception I see in here all the time is that CTC Math is a mastery program. That's not wrong in and of itself. It does encourage mastery of topics, but people often use this term and exclude the fact that CTC Math is not just mastery. I think when people hear that it's a mastery curriculum, they think that it doesn't include any spiral review and that couldn't be further from the truth. So I'm going to be using my son's curriculum as an example to show you how CTC math works. My oldest son is working through seventh grade math right now. So um, he is about halfway through. So whenever you click on, you know, a different grade, it'll pull up the different chapters or whatever you want to call them. And then there's uh, more topics kind of broken down within those different sections. So he's in seventh grade right now. And you'll see these are the main things he's covering. So number and algebra, geometry and measurement, stats and probability. And then we've got a separate section here for weekly revision tasks. And then over here, this will show me really easily what he's already done and what he's working on still um, in this section. So if I click on this first one, you'll see um, this column that says mastery. So within each lesson, this is why I think it's really called a mastery program because they're working through each of these different topics to mastery. They even have a column that says mastery and the kids as they go, they are earning these different colored stars. So I think there's like yellow and then green and blue. I think those are all of the colors, maybe, maybe red if they don't master it all. I don't remember, but I usually encourage them to work to mastery on everything. So mastery is just reflective of they have mastered this. So even sometimes it might take them a couple of tries. So sometimes the grade might be a little bit lower, but they continue to get problems that match the level that they're at and the level that they need until they can successfully complete whatever the lesson is or whatever the topic is. Okay. So that is why, you know, I think this curriculum, it really encourages that mastery. It gives you, gives you all of these different topics um, and it asks the student to work. Now, do they have to work to mastery? No, I mean, that can be between you and the kids. You can require them just to get a certain grade. Um, you can require them to get a certain color star. It's really up to you. But so you'll see these are all of the different topics he's kind of working on through his seventh grade curriculum. But within all of these, you know, he's working through each of these concepts individually, and there's not necessarily a spiral review built into each of these lessons. But CTC Math does offer a solution to this, which you'll want to know about, and this is their weekly revision sets. These are problems that you can give your kids. They are meant to be assigned once a week, and they cover concepts that have been taught in previous lessons. You can either assign these for your student to complete online, or you can print them out like I do. So you saw what my son was learning in math. Here is the weekly revisions that he'll be working on this week. It covers so many different topics that he has learned before that are important, but they're completely different than what he's studying in his current class. So this is what my son's weekly revision set worksheet looks like. And I just want to show you all the different problems that are on here. So um, right here, he is working on finding the lowest common multiple. You've got square roots. You've got some multiplication, um, arranging in ascending order, fractions we have here. So addition, multiplication, um, time. We've got rounding practice, 
percentages. All right, Best Buy based on price per kilogram. Okay, so some money there. Some basic equations, simplifying expressions, graphs. And then on the back, all right, we've got just some more problems here, some more graphing, area, trans, uh, transformations, angles. Okay, so a wide variety of problems. They're all pretty different. There's typically about 25 or 26 problems on these. And um, so again, very different from what he is working on exactly right now. And it's just a great review of things that he has already done. Some of it, it's been a while since he has specifically practiced, but um, they see a lot of the concepts, you know, throughout the weekly revision. So it just gives them a great chance to practice everything. All right, so this is what the dashboard looks like from my end. Let's say you want to assign weekly revision sets automatically. You're gonna go up here to tasks. And then once you are in here, you're going to just click on new weekly revision set. And then you can decide which one of your students you want to assign that to. So let's say I'm gonna assign it to myself. And then this will pull up. You can select if you had different term dates in here, um, which grade you want to assign the weekly revision sets for. And, and then you can generate it. So you can generate them for the remaining weeks in the current school year or for the entire school year. So I, I don't know how I have my dates set up, but those would probably be different. Um, you can also say when you want your student to get the task assigned to them and the time. And you can select if you want to um, email a report when each one is due. And you can also hide the year level from the student. So let's say your child is working maybe a grade level lower, but you want them to practice a lower grade, but you don't want to necessarily tell them that. Um, you can hide the year level from the student. And then you would just save, and it would automatically assign them um, every week. Now, I like to print them out, and the reason I like to print them out is because um, my kids will work it out on paper, and then I will grade them by hand, and then if they miss anything, we can sit down, and it's just easier to go through um, to see their work and then to go through and talk it over with them. So let me show you where to go if um, you want to print these out. So you're going to go to Tools. This was really hard for me to find at first, so I figure this could be helpful. Um, and let's say I wanted to do this for my son. So seventh grade, and then you go to all streams and it's down here in weekly revision tasks. They really should put these like over here as a separate option, but right now it's under, um, under here. So weekly revision, revision tasks, and then you'll see they're all listed here. So there are usually 16 for the first semester. And from what I understand, the first semester sets will review concepts from um, the previous grade level. So this should all be reviewing mainly sixth grade stuff and then some um, of the stuff they work on maybe earlier on in the year. And then set two is gonna review, I think for the most part, semester one material. Um, I could be wrong, don't quote me 100% on that, but I am fairly certain that is what I have heard. So that's where you find them. What you'll do is, let's say I wanted to print this one out, you just click on it, and then this will give you a direct link. So I mean, you could come here and if you wanted to put this link into Homeschool Planet or whatever you use for your scheduling, your kids could click on that and go right there. Um, this will take you right to the questions online. This is what you'll click on if you want to see the worksheet. So that will open up in a new tab and then you can print it off right here. It's always just one page front to back. So I'll print that out and then this is the answer. So if you click on this, it'll give you a separate sheet with all of the answers. And what I'll do is I will usually print this, but I will save it as a PDF. And then I just save it as a PDF to my downloads folder 
Um, I will title it with the you know seventh grade semester one set one. So it's really easy for me to find when I'm ready to go over the answers with my kids. Okay, so I think that's about it. That's how we make CTC math more than just a mastery curriculum. I love that we are going back to review old concepts weekly. Sometimes this is hard for my kids. Sometimes they don't remember these things, which is why it's good to review and at least keep it somewhat familiar to them. Even if it means they need help or they have to look something up or go watch a lesson again. In addition to the weekly revisions, CTC Math offers a ton of options for creating customized worksheets exams and things like that. So I think it's really one of the best options out there. I hope this video was helpful to you. Hit that like button, that thumbs up if it was, and let me know if you have any other questions in the comments. Thank you for watching.